the mystery that intrigues me is the possibility that Shakespeare's papers, if he was written by Sir Francis Bacon, mm -hmm. might reside, might be buried somewhere. What do you think about that and, and his papers? And I mean, that's, a, that's almost unanswerable. What you see here a lot is somebody reaches a theory with plausibility, and then everything they find from then on fits it. The possibility of such, I find it elegant and intriguing and you know, romantic, right? It's certainly a puzzle that continues uh, in the academic world. And was Shakespeare Shakespeare? Was it Sir Francis Bacon who authored the folio? I don't know that. I've said it around this table many times, and we each have articulated why we're here, why we're interested. For me, this is every bit a search for the truth, no matter where it goes, as it is a search for treasure. That's fascinating. Anybody else with a... Yeah, and Bacon was famous for experimenting with preserving documents with mercury. Oh, really? And this year, we found that in the swamp, there's an eye content of mercury. Not only that, the... we did pull up parchment and book binding, which is evidence that there's something written down in the ground, and it was put on parchment, and they could be the Baconian documents. That's fascinating. Hey, well, Jack, you weren't reading a book at 180 feet in the ground, yeah, either. Yeah, exactly. Parchment's a weird thing to drop, and then that's not even what they were looking for when uh, they discovered all, it. All uh, inexplicable mysteries. I take it you had it analyzed as, as best you could. Yes, yeah, it's definitely well, parchment. But we don't have evidence, hard evidence, of there being treasure. There just is a bunch of clues that allude to of course there's something there. You know, you got booby trap systems that are guarding bits of parchment down in the ground. Why was it booby trapped? Only those worthy would find it, or entitled. Perhaps. Well, it was meant to be found. It was meant to be found. A lot of people come here with the intention of finding something material. Right? I mean, uh, I was drawn here by gold bars. No, create. Yep. <laughs> like David. But, I mean, the original manuscripts of Shakespeare, I, I'd, I'd do. That would do, you know. But if Francis Bacon wrote it and put it here, what a fascinating thought that is. And it would be really cool for us to say we brought home the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Are the lost manuscripts of William Shakespeare or those of Sir Francis Bacon really hidden somewhere at the bottom of the Oak Island Swamp? And if so, could they be buried alongside other incredible treasures, like the fabled Ark of the Covenant? Perhaps the Laginas and their partners will soon find the answers, and hopefully they will also avoid a deadly curse, one that so far claimed the lives of six men and a legend that says one more will have to die before the treasure can be found. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time to get out of here.